Here we are getting ready for the pantry build. I'm making all the two by sixes for the for the uh, uh, the floor, not for the floor, for the framing of the floor. Silly. And here I go, nailing it together. Sandy's gonna pop in here. Oh, look at here she is. Look how fast she is. She's pretty good, right? We're putting our studs in, our joists in at 16 on center. So we can make a nice platform for the floor. Mm -mm -mm. Carried it over and laid it down. And now we're gonna level it. Leveling was fun. Because, uh, I don't know why. Looky here, it's all level now. Now I got it level. And I'm uh, sharpening a pencil. Hmm. And I'm notching out some beams. Yeah, look at that. Laying down the flooring. Now the flooring was kept, <coughs> it was all rough, rough edges stuff. Put it down quickly so we could get something going. And at the end, I'm going to have to put a second layer on there so there's no joint, no cracks and joints and lets all the bugs and little tiny vermin into the building. But I was nailing it all down. And for those of you who are questioning why I don't use a power nailer, it's because uh, I'm trying to conserve some energy. Got to put, uh, I had nails, hand nails, might as well just use them. So there we go, cutting again, more beams, the posts. I'm cutting the posts for the corners. And it's just going to keep cutting. And then I carry See how strong I am? I carried them right over for you. Or for me. I'll just start putting them all on there. I was checking it, testing it out the first time. Yeah, I put the wrong one in the wrong place and slipped it around. You guys, I'm so fast you didn't even see me doing it. So there we go. And here it is. Look at all oh, slow-mo time. Oh, and then back to fastness. More framing, 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 more framing. There we go. Those are all my nailers I'm putting up around for the uh, for the vertical uh, roughs on that I'm putting on there. There's my little helper, Sandy. Huh? She's helping again. What a good girl. Look at her holding. You can see her holding. There it is. Here I am, reaching tall. Me and my pain, bursitis and all. <laughs> making line, making jokes and rhymes, yeah. <clears throat> I put that uh, rafter down there to uh, just to uh, figure out where my bird's mouth was going to be. I cut them all out, and now I'm putting them back on there. Excuse me. Don't mind my butt. Making everything secure. <laughs> doo, 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 doo. I'm putting up the back plate so it'll hold on to all the rest of the joysses. And here I go. Putting on the front plate to hold the other end of the joists. And Bo wants to sing for you all while I'm doing this, so. We just let him in. We, just, we won't. We won't uh, pay any attention to the doggy with the noise. Look at me leveling it all up. Level is very important. Keeps things straight. Keeps it so it doesn't uh, doesn't lean over or fall over later. A couple of blocks to support the the. Rafters where they're going to be. <clears throat> Over the header I already put up. Yeah. There we go. Screws very important here. They help you to uh, get things together quickly and it holds them. You don't have to worry about them falling over when you're done. Here comes the rafters. Funny, funny, huh? Okay, there. Yeah, I'm up there screwing them into the plates. It's a lot of work involved in doing this stuff. You got to try to uh, make sure that everything is uh, even, left and right, up and down. Make lines. 
so you can uh, I'm setting up the uh, the, the uh, studs for the sides of the doorways and there's the left side of the door and I got it in there too Tommy I hope you're paying attention there'll be a video after or a, a test at the end buddy Now I got the whole thing down there. Huh? Marking for my nailers on the front. I'm gonna challenge any one of you to do it as fast as I do it. I don't know. <clears throat> and I was swearing a few times, Rob, so. Uh, yeah, that was for you, but you can't hear him because I can't do that on a video like this because that would be yucky. But I'll let you know. We'll, we'll make a special video just for you, Rob, with swears in it, just so you can have fun with it. <laughs> Love you, kid. I hope you're all right, kid. All right, let's keep going here. I'm just uh, screwing away. That's my motto. They say, what are you doing? I say, screw it. There it is. Putting in some corner corner bracing to hold them up plumb. And that helps to uh, keep it straight while I'm going to... Later I'll be nailing on all the uh, all the siding or the vertical the vertical uh, roughs on. We'll be... Uh, it'll hold everything together. It binds it all together. It keeps it all in there, so... And I started with nails, but I ended with screws because screws are so much faster than nails. But they do cost a bit. So if you're going to do a project like this, you got to make sure you got the money for it because uh, you got to have something left over so you can either that or you'll be drilling holes and putting in pegs. Just showing how it's all going to look. And here we go. Here comes Quick Steve with all his. I'm very fast at this, so I don't expect any of you to do the same. You can all just uh, enjoy my fastness. That's it. We'll call it speed. That's it. Get it all up there really quick. If I could really do it that fast, then uh, I could have had the whole place done in a week. But that ain't happening. There we go. Getting some more up there. You should hear the noise it's making. You can't, though, because I'm talking over the noise that it was making. You gotta love that poplar. It's beautiful wood, huh? Well, there you go. Here we go with some more now, huh? Now I'm doing the other side. And here I am on the back. This is all the fun stuff, folks. What size is that? Huh? The size of the wood. The size is the wood? The size. No, the wood is 1 by 12. I just asked what size was it. It's 1 by 12. That's one of the biggest trees I cut down, so. It's hard to get much bigger than that unless you really, really, really get a fat tree. But my sawmill only takes up to 28-inch tree, so. I mean, I can still get some pretty decent stuff out of that, but I haven't had a 28-inch tree yet. But I had a 21, and it still only gave me the 12-and-a-half-inch boards that you see there. So, here I go on a roof. This was out of a tree that had fallen down. Nice and tight, though. They're all strong. They're all very good. And that's just the, uh, the sheathing for the roof. It's not the shingles yet. The shingles will be done later. And as you can see, I still didn't finish all of the front stuff because when you're milling your own stuff, it's very important to try to, to try before you have to start building. It's very important to try to, to get most of your materials cut first because if you don't, you're going to end up 
wasting a lot of time just putting up a few boards and then you got to go cut down another tree and run it and try to do it again so you're better off to you're better off to try to uh that's what i've been doing yeah i've been doing that for a while now but uh, i'm going to try to uh to get a big stack of lumber first before i build anything else now because we need a we need a big we, we need a decent stack of lumber for the house so if uh if i have to keep trying to piecemeal it then uh It'll never get done. So I'm going to uh, go and uh, cut a lot of trees down. Get a lot of boards cut. My next project is actually going to be the just the rack, the drying rack for the, uh, for the lumber. So <clears throat> I'm going to focus on lumber, lumber, lumber. Get it all done so I can get it done more quickly. Once it's all milled and stuff, then I can just bring it over and cut it and put it where it's supposed to be. And be done with it. As you can see, it's coming along nicely. You don't know nothing yet because there ain't even no shelves or nothing in there yet. It's going to take a while, folks. But you got to have patience if you're going off grid. And if you got to yell, yell. Who cares? Nobody can hear you. You can swear real loud. Maybe you might have your dogs around or something. They can hear you swearing or something. Or your cats. But I'm... Uh, put all the paper on the roof look at that and now i got to the shingles we we skipped a spot because sandy was <clears throat> injured was it was that because of your injury yeah it was because of her injury you get injured out here folks and it really pulls you down so you got to make sure you got to be careful with everything you do and then you can only be so careful and then uh there's all the shingles on the roof well not all of yourself. them that's half of them that I cut these myself. They're all quarter inch pieces of lumber. They were from one of the shorter pieces of poplar. And here I go putting in my uh, my framing for my shelves. I'm pretty fast at this. I think you'll all notice that, uh, you know, it's fun because Sandy has to try to run around and follow me with her camera to make sure she can stay still with me. Something like that. <clears throat> the whole purpose of this building is to stay cool and it'll be cool inside we built it into the forest so it's not not going to be uh, baked by the sun it's going to keep our food cool and dry and those are the two things that they want you to do when you uh when you're canning or when you're storing your food saving food even if you're saving stuff you bought from the grocery store, you've got to keep it cool and dry because uh, if it goes bad, then you've built that building for nothing. Or maybe you can have a nice little place to find a corner and cry in because your food's gone. But you got to be careful. you got to make sure you take care of all of that stuff. Just look at them go, huh? And then we don't tape, but you have to move them all up. And then we don't, yeah. <laughs> stupid, stupid, stupid stuff. Was that really? Yeah, I already, yeah, yeah. Uh huh. Because Steve was stupid. <laughs> Look at that. All the cleats are on the walls, all the rails. Now I got to put in the little, I guess we'll call them little joists. There's supports for more of the pine that's going on the shelves or the poplar or the oak, whichever one I choose to put on there. Lots of work, folks. If you want to go off grid, it's not like you just sit around and have a campfire and sing campfire songs. It's a lot of work. So you better be willing to work. If you're not, don't bother. have money to pay for somebody to do it yeah right or you have to have the the cash to pay for somebody else to do it so but that's hardly living off grid if you're you know shelling out money for some construction company to come in and build for you that's not really it But our best investment was that mill. Yes, our best investment was that mill for this. If you're going off grid, man, well, if you got a little extra cash, you should get some. Uh, well, you should 
you should have some, you have to have money anyway to go off grid as well, because you have to be able to buy the supplies that you need. Everyone's not going to have a sawmill, but we bought a sawmill. It was a very good investment. It'll save us thousands of dollars by the time we're done with everything, because uh, it'll pay for itself. It'll pay for itself, right? And I might even, I can even mill stuff for other people if they ask, I suppose. So, there you go. Some more shelves in there. They're all done up. <clears throat> yucky floor. And the yucky floor. <laughs> Sandy's not too happy with the lucky, yucky floor. But you know what I told her? I said, you don't like it? Fix it. So I told her. I didn't tell her that, really. Because she would have kicked me with her cast or something. She's a good little cast kicker. <laughs> mm -hmm. And here we go with more shelving. Just looks lovely, doesn't it? Drilling holes, pre-drilling. Pre-drilling is very important. Because then I can put my screws in it before I get it there. And then when I have it up in the air, I can just screw it in. I don't have to try to fish for screws while it's up there. So As we go, I'm doing more. Yeah. And I don't wear a belt because uh, if I do, my pants would come down even further every time. I don't wear a utility belt is what I meant. Now, obviously, I have a belt on. You can see it in the picture. I'd be lying if I told you otherwise. All right, folks, but here we go with the shelves. Look, they even hold stuff. There you go. There's a soda and a drill on those shelves right there. Looks very nice, doesn't it, huh? Bet you wish you had one. So you can put your soda on it. Put, you put your soda on it, yeah. Look at all the lumber I put in here. All the wood is up on the shelves, huh? Well, most of it anyway. Once we get it all done, obviously, you can start packing your food in there. So why did we make them the size we made them? Why did we make them the size we made them so that we could fit more in? We needed just enough to to fit the the small, medium, and large jars, and then canning. any of the any of the, uh, the the canning jars, yeah. And, uh, and, and then we uh, got to the middle. We got to the middle, and we had to uh, make bigger spots there in the back, just so we could have taller items if we needed them. And the bottom is always taller because you put big, heavy things like water and and and, and no, other on the floor. and other things, the things you keep on the floor, right? Also, well, I was talking about. I said underneath, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> I know you're probably thinking, Steve, you spent a lot of time in there. I sure did. Thanks for noticing. Give me screwing everything down, huh? You're a good screwer. I am a good screwer. <laughs> there it goes. Look at that, folks, huh? There's a speed square on the edge. I know you don't call it a square because you see a triangle, but it's a speed square. <coughs> Excuse me. You can see on the back, I left a shelf out in the middle here. That was also to keep taller stuff in there. So Here goes Steve now. Now I'm building the doors. The doors are going to have shelves on them for, for more stuff. Small stuff. Trying to, the you know, smaller stuff. We're trying to keep it light, but the lumber itself, because it's fresh it's, and new, is heavy, so the hinges are going to do double and triple duty. And I put a uh, a brace that goes from, diagonally from the top corner down to the bottom corner. And that's just to hold the door from sagging. And here I go putting all them shelves in. It was very fun. You should have heard the groovy music we were playing when it was going on. We didn't have any. Sorry, folks. It was in my head. <laughs> There's the left side of the door. Mm. Putting in more shelves. You won't show that you had to take them out and redo them. What's that? You had to redo them. Well, what are you talking about? You just set it on tape. See, folks? She's always trying to get me in trouble. Would we do what? You said you put them on the bottom? No, no. Oh, yeah, yeah. I put them in so that the backs were towards the front. But Ta-da! 
Look at that door, huh? Ta-da! You see the diagonal brace going up? Yeah, from the bottom up to the top corner. And that diagonal brace could either could go either way. I think that way, though, it holds the, the weight of the door much better. Because it's down at the bottom. Look at that, huh? Look at Stevie go. Making sure they're both the same height, putting on the hinges. Doing them all by eye, too. So if they're crooked, then you know my eyes are crooked. I'll show you later. <laughs> I look like a little Dutch boy with my socks pulled way up like that. Mm -hmm. Stuff, baby. Look at that, huh? Ta-da! That was a ta-da moment. Oh, look there, I took my big bow. <laughs> there it is, folks. Looks pretty good, huh? Now I'm putting on the trim. The wood shrunk. Uh, yeah, well, you, you need it anyway because the uh, I'm putting on the the battens because they uh, they protect it to protect the building from the rain coming in because the boards don't they all shrink considerably once you put them up there when especially if they're wet if it's if you're using wet lumber even if you use dried lumber from a lumber mill or from a lumber yard it still shrinks somewhat because it's out in the now it's out in the direct sun and stuff it's all been protected up until then so. Well, looky there, there's a place full of food. And yes, we had this all in a tent before. <laughs> Yicky. That is not even all our food. And that's not even close to all our food. No, that's not even close. They're all pulled out to the front to make it look pretty like a grocery store. There you go.